But hey, I have a question for you. Do you think it's safe to eat at the street vendors here in Cambodia? And second question, are you afraid to eat here? Well, let's check out what they have. It's about uh, almost six o'clock. People getting off of work and there is just uh, hundreds of these going up and down uh, the street here. It starts uh, in front of the, uh, the temple there and it's right on the river. So a lot of people like to come out here on the way home from work or after work, grab a chairs and tables and uh, you just get all kinds of food, whatever you kind of want. Everything from noodles to pizza. It's just an awesome, awesome amount of stuff that you can get. We even have beverages and I bet you can even find a cold beer somewhere around here also. But uh, it's uh, not too busy right now because, well, well, it's Saturday for one thing. Friday would have probably been a little bit busier, but who knows, but it's still kind of early. Come down here about 7.30, 8 o'clock, and it, it'll be much more busier. And I'm gonna go out into the street because I like to put my life on the line for you guys. So we can see this, this just keeps on going down and down and down. Uh, from here all the way down to um, uh, the old market. Oh, they've got cold shrimp and all, all kinds of all kinds of good foods, fried rice, all kinds of dishes to get, and very very good prices too. Check out some of them prices. Just absolutely, it'll fill you up, fill you up for a buck and a half. Throw a cold beverage on top of that, you're under two dollars, and you're good to go. Now look at this place. This place has just about anything you want they've got uh they've got all the way from my favorite beef low lack for three dollars look at that all right all the way to to grilled shrimp and and steamed shrimp just all kinds of goodies all kinds of goodies look at that tons and tons of things you can get i have personally myself eaten from the street vendors literally probably a hundred times you know there's a there's another shake place smoothies and shakes and um, now I have gotten so oh, there see I told you I told you somewhere you'd be able to find cold beer but no, I've uh, I've eaten out here many many times and um, yeah I have been I have gotten sick in Cambodia however it wasn't from the street vendors absolutely not and kind of get an idea of what they're doing in there. Let me see if I can get around to one of these vendors and show you them cooking. Oh, maybe I can get this one here. See, they just have everything that they need. They got their, their little kitchen set up. Some delicious food, I'll guarantee you. I had to get away. They look at me, they always look at you. Got some more noodles, all kinds of noodles here. Those are noodles. They're pretty good, actually. Oh, look at this gourmet guy. Look at this here. He's cooking up some fried rice. Oh, he's making me hungry. <laughs> okay. I'm going. Thank you. Stall kind. Oh, hey, hey, this this one's a nice one. This is one of my my more favorite ones. That's because no, not because they got the, the clams. But they got uh, the barbecued uh, pork. There's some barbecued pork right there. I love those. I can grab about five of those and uh, a plate of rice. Got some sausages. Looks like some pork ribs. And oh, even, even some cooked fish. Yummy. And it's cooked with a smile. <laughs> See, I told you it was gonna be cooked with a smile. All kinds of seating for you. Even down further, I don't think I'm going to walk down that far. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, they have uh, a lot, a big room. It, 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 this, this area just gets like to be a big park and uh, a lot of room in between the road and the river. And it's just packed with these uh, tables and chairs uh, for you to uh, get, your, get your food on. I'll come around this way. More beverages and oh yeah. 
cold beer. And I think I'm going to deserve one when I get back from making this video. What do you guys think? What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Uh, yeah, before I forget, uh, I'm trying to do something, right? Now, if you like if you like this video, of course, you know, I'm going to say, hey, man, like and subscribe. But, hey, I am on a, uh, a campaign. It's called the Share Campaign. So if you really like it, please share with your friends and family. That would really, really, really help. Yeah, it's kind of funny. They, a lot of them, they cook the same exact things. But, uh, I mean, how do you know which one to go to? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. How do you know which one to go to? But uh, I don't have enough video for, uh, for a full-fledged video on this. So let's go down a little bit further. I'm going to go hop on the bike and add on down to the, uh, what I call the, uh, the circle triangle. It's a roundabout. And uh, let's see. I'll show you where it gets really, really busy. And I'll even show you something really cool that you wouldn't expect here in Cambodia. And uh, we'll see that here next. And I think I would mention before we go down and I show you that really cool thing that on the other side of the river here is kind of known for a lot of uh, a little smaller restaurants or I mean well, larger restaurants than the street vendors but also uh, places where you can uh, uh, listen to music dance and get your drink on and just all kinds of stuff. It's kind of funny because down all the way down the, the river it seems like this side is the bar side and this side here, uh, the west side, seems to be the food side. Well, anyways, let's go. Uh, I gotta go hop on my motorbike, and we're gonna. I wanna show you the the other end of this uh, this uh, walk of this mile of food. <laughs> You've heard a mile of cars. Well, this is a mile of food. And yes, it is difficult to get up out of those if you're my size. Harder to get sit down on them. But that's that's what it is, so you just got to deal with it. All right, now let me cross the street, get on my motorcycle, and uh, continue with this video. Now, way down on that corner, you can see is where uh, the old market is, and uh, this is the lower end of the the mile of food. I don't know if it's a mile, two kilometers maybe, but it still continues, and. Uh, Lots of vendors. Some of them are a little bit different. Oh, here's a hot dog vendor. But I know. Hello. Oh no, thank you. I'm I'm not I'm not hungry. But I know down there a little bit in the morning they have like uh, they have breakfast stuff, uh, donuts and uh, omelets and. Oh, well, speaking about pancakes, <laughs> we got the pancake lady right here. You can get a really nice. Kind of like crepes, yeah, pancake, banana, and chocolate, all kinds of good stuff. Right there, that's where it goes over to uh, the, uh, oh, I don't know what they're calling it, the night uh, Riverside Night Market now. A lot of uh, crafts and clothes and stuff. And this is what I want to show you here from, uh, from the street. Uh, it kind of opens up a little bit and you get a lot more tables alongside the river here and you got this nice little walk so you don't get run over by all the cars and motorcycles trying to get something to eat. Some days this thing will be packed. It'll be packed later on. I just wanted to get it while it was still light although I could get some low light photography in but I'm getting hungry myself and I want to get home and eat. <laughs> uh, let me see if it's still here. Yeah, I think. Where'd it go? There was one thing I was going to show you here. I promised I was going to show you, and I don't see it anymore. Oh yeah, there it is. Hang on, let's go over. Let's go find it quick. All right, now here it is. This has been an icon here for quite some time. Get a wood-fired pizza in here, and oh, they don't got the pizza oven open, but they got got it burning in there, and you get all kinds of uh, pizzas with all kinds of stuff on it, just like at any other pizza place. But I just wanted to show you, yeah, you can get just about a little bit of everything here. So, so uh, there used to be a lady that, that parked right here and she made my little black before. I think she decided to retire or something. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at all the street vendors. And like I'm saying, uh, if you ever come down here uh, to Cambodia, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because it's some wonderful food. 
And uh, the only time I got sick here, I think I started, started telling you the story earlier, was at a very fancy restaurant here in town. It wasn't from the, these street vendors. Uh, but you know what's next? If you're still here, you know you're my number one fans. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.